episode of Ruby was really, really good, and I feel bad that I didn't watch it Saturday, because we found out in this episode that in the past there existed four maidens, maidens of the season as I will call them, because they each represented a, a season, you know, summer, winter, spring and fall, and they had powers to basically use quote unquote magic without having to use dust so they could summon uh, what's called fireballs without having to use uh, dust as I already said. However, this was common knowledge and also it was also common knowledge that their powers would be passed on to the, per the last person in their fort if it was a young maiden. So yeah, and the problem was with that of course that it wouldn't be a problem if it was passed on to a good person. However, let's say it was a bad person like Cinderfall who got the power. That would actually cause issues for a group. Because what would happen then if it was a bad person? It would cause chaos in the kingdom and therefore a brotherhood was created. And they basically hit this and made, it, uh, made uh, people believe that this was basically just a legend that someone has spun. And today that is what people believes, and therefore I have a theory that guardian is just a term that Aspen, we, uh, what's it called Crow, Ironwood, and Goodwitch uh, is using to basically uh, refer to the maiden of the season, because we find out that one of the maidens of the season, Amber, has been attacked, and she is basically dying from what I can understand. She is in so bad condition that only the best treatment basically are keeping her alive. But when that is turned on, she will turned off, she will die. She will die. And therefore the power can't be transferred to the next person normally, which they actually has chosen to be Pera, because she is in so bad condition and they don't want it to go to her Salem because they don't know if that is a good person or a bad person so yeah and the way they are planning to transfer it to Pera is basically by linking her linking Amber's aura to Pera however because this has never been done before they don't know how it will affect Pera and if she let us say Amber is to die would that mean that Pyrrha would die? Would uh, Pyrrha get affected, you know, physically, like getting the same scars as Amber has? They don't know, and therefore they give her a time to basically think, is this what she want to do? So, yeah, really interesting setup, and I'm looking forward to seeing who the three other m guardians or maidens of the season is going to be. I'm pretty sure Ruby is going to be one of them. But also another interesting thing is the fight between Mercury Black and Yang. Because Yang, she actually wins this fight and I must say it's impressive. And it seems like there is a ring out rule because when, what is he called, Mercury Black is like almost thrown out and hits the ground. He basically uses his sh uh, bullet shoes to basically create enough, uh, what is called, kinetic energy to fly back. But this is not the interesting part because when he loses, he says there will not be a second time and attacks Yang. And Yang's, she of course defends herself by hitting her leg. And people is shocked. And I was like, yeah, I can understand that because seeing a, a person that lost attacks, that is kind of crabby. But then we see the recording which shows that Yang actually just attacked him without any reason. So. What is up with that? Or oh, actually, I have a theory. I think that Cinderfall has messed with the recording, so it shows Yang attacking her, while in reality, it is actually not Yang. You know, let's say like those that was at the place, they actually saw what happened. And then again, why was they shocked? Even her own teammates, like Vice and I think Ruby, was shocked. So. Was the thing on the recording correct, or was what we saw, you know, 
correct, you know, uh, basically black, Mercury Black attacking her correct. I really wonder, I really wonder. And that's gonna be so interesting because it looks like Yang is in big trouble because she attacked her opponent. And this man, oh man, this can be really bad for Yang. So, man. I'm really looking forward to seeing what will happen. And with that, have a good day, good night wherever you are, and I will see you later guys. Cheers.